Okay, so I don't assemble equipment, never claim to be a handyman, but I got my buddy Anthony here who does. He's an expert, he and his father Antonio, in putting together equipment. You do commercial, you do home gyms and everything. That's exactly it. Okay. Everything. How long did it take you to finish this? I will say 45 minutes to 60 minutes. 60 minutes. So 60 minutes for two professionals to assemble this RIT fit leg press hack squat combo. So I want your honest opinion on, was it easy to build? Could a regular non-equipment person build this themselves? I'll say about 90% of the instructions are pretty clear. I'll give it a, a solid eight out of 10 in terms of easiness to build. Okay, that's not bad. Eight out of 10 on easiness to build. Scale of one to 10, how do you think this is gonna hold up? So as far as sturdiness and quality, I'll give it a, a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, it's still pretty good. All right, so overall, is this a good investment for somebody, do you think? Definitely for beginners. But if you're like experienced and you want something sturdier, definitely look for something heavier. Okay. But for a beginner or somebody who's two years in, this is perfect, it's combat. And um, for a beginners, I recommend it. Yeah. Any final thoughts as we um, end this? Final rating, I'll give it a solid uh, six and a half to seven out of 10 overall. Okay. Seven out of 10 overall, that's pretty good from a professional. So I, have to do mine, and I'll get that as soon as I get these guys paid. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> My son said, you know, it's not commercial. We have to understand that. But for the beginners, it's perfect. Yeah. For beginners. And, and look how shredded Antonio is. He's just 55 and he's shredded. Look at that bicep. <laughs> Let's jump right into this. My review of the RitFit Leg Press Hack Squat Combo. And full disclosure, they did send this to me for my review and that is exactly what I'm going to give you because these review videos do quite well here on my YouTube channel. So that means you rely on my opinion to help you make a choice on whether or not you should bring something into your home gym. So with that being said, let's start off with the price of the Hack Squat Leg Press Combo by RitFit. $799.99. So for one penny under $800, you are getting a really good piece of equipment. And I would highly recommend that you consider getting this in your home gym for a variety of reasons. But I'm also gonna point out a few things that I would have done to possibly change this up a little bit just for my personal use. It doesn't mean that I think it's a bad thing. It's just something that I think to myself, well, maybe they could have changed this. So the first thing I'll say is the way this thing looked when it came out of the box, I absolutely loved. This red and black just looks classy. It's clean, there were no scratches on it anywhere. Unlike a lot of other equipment that I get sent to me, because it's coming from China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, somewhere, it is oftentimes banged up. There was not one scratch on this anywhere, so they took a lot of care in shipping it to me. So know that when you get it and you invest your money, you're gonna get a really good quality piece of equipment that looks great in your home gym because I know that's important as well. You want it to look good. So as far as the look goes, it looks great. For $800, you're getting two pieces of equipment in one. You get a hack squat where it is set up right now and also a leg press. And this is how easy it is to switch it from one machine to another. You move that pad, you slide that in, then you come around here and there's a pull pin back here. You simply grab this pull pin and put it up into position. Now you have a leg press. One thing that I would improve is where this is located because you notice I kind of fumbled around for a second and you have to come underneath because if you put your arm in here, it's in the way. It's kind of dangerous there so you need to come underneath so when you can't see it you have to kind of fumble around to find it but that doesn't make it any less valuable or any less usable it's simply just a matter of getting to know where that pin is and you'll be fine but user beware do not ever put your arm inside here when you're pulling it down because if for whatever reason this slips out of your hand this is going to come down 
and it could be pretty dangerous. So understand that when you're using this. Always come around, hold this, come around from behind, pull that pin, let it down, and then lock it back into place, and then find it again, put it back up, lock it into place. So let's talk about this for a second here. This is another area that I would have made a slight change in. You can see on here that it isn't as wide as the stabilizer bar here at the bottom. I would have simply put this out a little bit wider, but I see why they didn't because the handles here, it would have got in the way. You wouldn't have had a whole lot of room to put your hands in here. But given the fact you put your hands on the outside, I don't see that being that much of an issue to compensate for maybe the fact that you wanna put your feet a little bit wider on here. So instead of here, I could have gone out here a little bit wider. But again, this is not a deal breaker for me. So another thing is this. When I am getting out of here in the lowest position, because like I said, I'm 5'8", I'm gonna rack this at the lowest possible place so I can very easily unrack this and put it into use. So when I rack this in the lowest position, I can't easily put my feet down here, but it's no big deal that I just have to swing out like this and stand up. So again, I'm not saying that this makes this bad. What I'm saying is it just makes it so I gotta swing out. It's not that big of a deal. Now, while I'm on the things that I would have done to improve this, I'll end with the things that I think are just really cool about it. I would have put wheels on the back so you could easily move it. I've seen other leg press hack squat combos where there are wheels in the front and a handle down here at the bottom. You can pick it up and you can roll it away. Again, doesn't make the leg press or the hack squat any less usable. It just makes it to where you have to slide it, get a friend to help you, but it is easily movable. But given the fact it's easy, easily movable, it's also very stable. It's not like this thing is shaking. It is put together extremely well, so it's very stable. So the other thing that I would have done to change it up is instead of having the weight trees down here where you pick the weights up this way, I would have put the weight trees on this stabilizer bar in the back to where I can load them here, unload them, and then load them on the bar here that's meant to add the weight to the machine. So now let's get into the use of this. So obviously we're in the leg press position and as I stated earlier, I have it racked in the bottom. So you simply push up, slide the safety bars out and then do your leg press. Now what I want you to look at here is the range of motion. So I get full range of motion. This is really all that you need to do because if you come down any further, your back will have a tendency to roll up and that puts you in a dangerous position. But the way they position these safety stoppers down here, it will not allow you to go beyond this range of motion, putting yourself in jeopardy. While I might appreciate more range of motion, most people only need this right here and that's absolutely perfect. Then I mentioned earlier that it can accommodate taller people. So if I were any taller, I could come out, I could rack it here, and then I could also rack it all the way up here and you could see Again, the, the, that person's got to be seven feet tall that could put it that high up. So let me bring it back down here to where I would put it at, lock it into position, and that's right there. So now all I got to do is slide out here, stand up, and I go to put it in the hack squat position, come around from behind, do that, pull this pin right here, take the pad off, come right here, goes over to the top, slide this into position. Now it's ready for the hack squat. Here, disengage, up, all the way down, full range of motion. If I had to tell you which I like better, the leg press or the hack squat movement, I would say I like the hack squat movement better just for my personal preference. Now, another thing that I want you to see is the fact that this right here is also adjustable. So this, you pull this pin out and this will come down flat and it's three different positions that gives you an angle here to choose what you want to do either on the leg press or the hack squat depending on where you want your back position and how you want your knees to be and your ankles to be when you're coming through your range of motion. So in summary for me, for a penny under $800, I really honestly think that this is a great 
investment for you to put in your home gym. I'd be really interested to know what your questions are. You can ask me below. If I don't have the answer, make sure you go to the RitFit website or on Amazon to find out more about all of the technical data on this that maybe I didn't cover with you. That's not necessarily my job. My job is to give you my opinion, and that is my opinion on the RitFit leg press hack squat combo. I'm gonna give it a double biceps and an eight out of a 10. Okay, so I just wanted to come back out here again. This has been a few months since I've received this. It's been outside, it's holding up in the elements, it's rain, sun, my, my phone even overheated. I really like this and I'm telling you, this is a great investment for the price. You need to understand, there's commercial grade equipment, there's home grade equipment. This is meant for home or light commercial use. If you get this at your home, it will hold up. It is worth $799. It is something that you have two exercises in. It will accommodate people from five feet to seven feet. It truly is a well-built, really good looking piece of equipment that I believe will benefit you for a long time.